Do you ever get too technical when you hit your forehand? In other words, you've got all these technical tips just swirling around in your head and it tightens you up and you just can't hit your forehand the way that you want. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution. Really happy to be here today to teach you a unique tip that's gonna help you with your forehand and it has everything to do with visualization. So I wanna get to that video lesson right now on how you can visualize better on the court so that you can hit more consistent forehands and hit that forehand the way that you want. As a coach, I'm a big believer in visualization, off the court and on the court. You have to be able to see how you want the ball to go over the net when you're hitting the ball. So in your mind's eye, you have to have a vision of how you want the ball to travel over the net. I like talking about two concepts. I like lasers, low over the net, where the ball goes straight and pretty flat with a tight spin. And then I like rainbows, where the ball is literally arcing over the net. So you have to be able to shape the shot or see yourself shaping the shot. And what happens when you visualize like this is it allows you to improve your technique. I was looking for the right words there. It allows you to focus in a way where you don't have to think about all the different things going on in your forehand. That if you actually can see in your mind how you want the ball to arc over the net, the technique can actually improve. So what I like to do as a coach is I like to bounce back and forth between technique simple techniques and visualization. So in this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Simon, all I want him to do is work on arcing the ball or shaping the ball over the net. Okay, so every ball has gotta be four, five, six, seven feet over the net with arc. So I need him to picture hitting that arc or that rainbow over the net. So let's go down the middle first. Every forehand, there's arc. So that was a great arc there. Better than I anticipated. It doesn't even have to be that high, Simon. You can go a little lower. That's perfect. Nice arc. You can swing any way you want. Yep, so that was a low finish. I saw a buggy whip there. See, notice how he goes to the buggy whip when he wants to arc the ball. Because he knows that buggy whips will allow him to get under the ball. That's a nice hand turn. Let's move it cross court here. But notice like every shot, it's not even close to the net. I mean, there is no danger of this ball going in the net. He goes, he goes under the ball, lots of arcs, stop. So my guess, based on me just coaching Simon and coaching you all, is all he's thinking about is clearing the net by several feet and seeing that ball shape. And he knows that if he's focusing on that, then he will find the right swing, whether he goes buggy whip, hand turn over the shoulder, drops underneath the ball more, whatever he thinks of doing or comes to his mind, that's happening because he has in his mind what kind of shot that he wants to hit. So let's see it one more time. We're really shaping the shot, getting underneath the ball, but see yourself arcing it. Yes, every ball you hit has loads of spin and loads of arc. Awesome stuff. Stop. I'd say about half of those forehands were buggy whips. So that should give you an indication that if you want more topspin, you might want to start using the buggy whip as long as you're doing it the correct way. So shape your shots, step on the court, have a goal on how you want the ball to go over the net. Don't just think about technique all the time. Focus on shaping the, sh the shot and getting the ball high over the net with loads of topspin. Now, if you focus on visualizing with the technique that I just gave you in this lesson, you're going to create more shape on your forehand. You're going to have more confidence. Your forehand's going to be heavier. It's going to have more spin and you're just gonna be playing better tennis. Now, again, if you enjoyed this lesson and you got value out of it, I wanna share a cool gift with you right now. I'm going to show you the three forehand myths that most people are making, and guess what? It's not their fault, but you've shown that you're committed by watching this entire lesson. You're still here with me right now, and I wanna get those three forehand myths to you. So here's what I want you to do. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video, and on the next page, you're going to be able to access those three forehand myths. And once you learn about them and the solutions that I give you, you're going to turn your forehand into an absolute weapon. I look forward to seeing you on the next page. Go ahead and click below or somewhere in this video to pick up those three forehand myths and the solutions that come with it. Thanks so much for your time today, and we'll see you at the next lesson.